Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The steps taken by government of India will make India a world class defense manufacturing hub. It is not an exaggeration and you will come to know after the end of the video. All the advanced technologies will be built in India by Indians and it's going to be of world class. A much needed move to realize India as a world superpower. Mark my words, by 2030, India will be self-reliant in all defense technologies and have latest tech in defense. Private firms, be it SMEs or MSMEs, they are going to be architect of our dream of our neighbor Bharat. After the announcement of union budget for the financial year 2022, we have made a detailed video on the budget allocation across armed forces, defense PSUs and fund allocation for private sector. Under the Union Budget, 25% of Defence R&D budget was allocated for industry-led R&D. On March 11, 2022, Ministry of Defence has announced 18 major platforms for industry-led design and development under different categories. This month itself, Ministry of Defence has approved four projects under Make One category which includes secure communication equipment, Airborne Electro Optical Pod and Airborne Standoff Jammer for Indian Air Force and Light Tank for Indian Army. For the projects under Make One subcategory, the Ministry of Defence will provide financial support up to 70% of total cost of the prototype development. As per the new list released yesterday by Ministry of Defence, 14 defence projects have been identified under Make One category, which includes hypersonic glide vehicle. Directed energy weapons of 300 kilowatt power and more. Naval shipborne unmanned aerial system, lightweight tank, self healing minefields, unmanned autonomous AI based land robot, 127 mm naval gun, 127 mm guided projectile, electric propulsion engines for ships, standoff airborne jammer, lithium ion cells or lithium sulfur cells, which will be portable compact and high capacity energy systems replacing the conventional hydrocarbon energy source, communication systems such as AF net systems, switches, routers, encryptors and VoIP phones, electro optical pod with subsequent upgrade to EOIR with high resolution sensing, plug and play housing and infrastructure for soldiers posted at extreme altitudes. Now if we talk about all the 14 projects listed under this category, it will be a very long video. However, we will make separate video in detail about each of these development and future of these critical technologies such as hypersonic glide vehicle, direct energy weapons and electric propulsion etc. Now recently you would have heard quite a lot about a special purpose vehicle model or SPV model as it was reported by HL chairman that the defense PSUs are trying to implement the next generation advanced multi-role combat aircraft MK and Indian multi-role helicopter IMRH under the special purpose vehicle model involving private players. The private industry will be encouraged to take up design and development of military platforms and equipment in collaboration with the DRDO and other organizations. Now, as per the Ministry of Defense, two platforms have been identified under this category, which includes long range unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs or high altitude long endurance hail and Indian multi role helicopter IMRH. Under the third category, startups, MSMEs, etc., will be involved in high end innovation, which will be pursued under IDEX category. And the platform has been selected under this category is low orbit pseudo satellites. HL and NL both are already working on similar technology called HAPS or high altitude pseudo satellite. The last category is make to category, which is funded by industry with assured procurement. Now, this is very important category as well because government is assuring of procurement and the money invested by private firms will not be lost and will encourage private firms increase the competition and ultimately a world-class defense ecosystem will be created which will deliver world-class defense products. Under this category, the platform which is listed is anti-jamming system for multiple platforms. 
in the first week of march we have already informed you the approval in principle for some of the projects by ministry of defense now out of the 18 major projects which we have discussed four platforms have already been accorded approval in principle under make one category on 3rd march which includes communication systems eo pod standoff airborne jammer and lightweight tanks the indigenous development of these projects will help to harness the design capabilities of domestic defense industry and position India as a design leader in these technologies. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.